Now, to get the problem in vertex form, this time we're going to solve for y. To start shortcutting business so we don't have to work as hard, so we don't have to work as long, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract y and subtract 2 at the same time. That way you can get rid of both those things in one step. You don't have to rewrite the problem. You don't have to work too hard. You get negative 4x squared minus 8x equals negative y minus 2. You can't complete the square. Don't try completing the square. You're not allowed to complete the square. You must factor out a 4. And more specifically, not just a 4, a negative 4. So by pulling out this negative 4, what you're doing is you're saying this becomes x squared, this becomes positive 2x. Now we cut this in half, that becomes 1, then we square it, square 1 is 1. However, you're not putting 1 on the other side, you're putting negative 4. It's a negative 4, it's a hidden number because you multiply these two together. Now your problem says this, negative 4, x plus 1 squared, equals negative y minus 6. Okay. Now solve for y. Now get y by itself. Add 6 to both sides of the equation. Negative 4x plus 1 squared plus 6 equals negative y. Now divide everything by negative 1. Now notice how when I'm doing this, I'm only focusing on these front pieces. Don't change anything inside. That way you have 4 times x plus 1 squared minus 6 equals y. That's in vertex form. Now you can describe what this is like. Now you can start writing the vertex and doing all your business.